Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would take you with me uh, on some relaxed coloring. And um, let me just quickly show you on which picture I'm working. So let me zoom you out a little bit. And you can see this is the picture on which we did the uh, flowers. So my uh, video for my favorite Prismacolor combination on flowers, um, on roses, <laughs> on roses of course. And um, we are working in, wait, 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 oh I've got all those pencils here, it's, it's a mess. I don't have a lot of space on my little um, coloring plate here. So um, I'm coloring in the Welt unter der Lupe zu Lande. Die Welt unter der Lupe zu Lande. So, The World Under the Magnifying Glass on Land by Rita Berman. And um, And this is my little new coloring body here on my little coloring plate. He's just coming out of his eggshell. Quite sweet, isn't it? And um, yeah, I'm I'm just working on a leaf right now. Let me zoom you in a little bit. And yeah, I just love to work. Oh. I just love to work on this book for some uh, relaxed coloring, you know, because, um, yeah, I don't making myself stress in this book. I'm just enjoying the process. And I'm using the Prussian green, the Chartreuse, and dark green basically at the moment to color this leaf. If you want to join in, you're more than welcome to do so. And I'm working today with Prismacolors because I started this page with Prismacol um, yeah, with Prismacolors on on the roses. So that's basically the reason why I'm calling with the Prismacolors today. And um, but I have to say I find them kind of strange on this paper. It feels like this paper is eating up the prismas. So after just one those um, this little leaf, um, or you are not even finished with it, and you have a feeling that you need to sharpen. Your pencils because they seem to be yeah like very blunt already so um, any one of you has the same feelings on this paper in this book with Prisma colors let me know I'm curious to know and um, yeah And um, yeah, basically, a new subscriber just recently, actually, it was yesterday, <laughs> she asked if I plan to continue coloring on this page, on this specific page, to color some more flowers. And um, yeah, so I thought it would be a quite nice opportunity to do that on a nice relaxed color in chat. So stress-free. And if you like you can just join in. Uh, 
And speaking of opportunities, I would like to welcome all my new um, subscribers that I got recently. And um, yeah, let's just continue on another leaf. Down. Uh, what did I wanted to say? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I wanted to welcome all my new subscribers. I'm very happy to have you. And um, basically, I'm happy over all my viewers and all your constant supports and. Um, especially about your comments. I love to read them and um, going in with the chateaux again. So I started with a base layer of Prussian green and then I'm going in with the chateaux to give a few highlights here and there. And then next I will go in with the dark green and give a few more shadows on this leaf. And um, uh, yeah, now I was distracted again. So, oh, it's kind of hard today for me to color and um, talk, I don't know why. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit stressed lately. Um, so, uh, yeah, for that reason I also thought it would be nice to do just a a uh, quick and easy color and shed because basically those videos are the easiest, easiest ones for me to do or one of the easiest ones because I basically don't need to edit them I just upload them as they are so just render and I just do maybe a tiny, tiny little bit of editing, but not a lot. And then, yeah, just rendering it and uploading it and it's ready to go live. Yeah, it looks okay. Um, Okay, let's just do this leaf and then we will start with some flowers because that's what we are here for today. <laughs> and um, I think this page will become very colorful because all those flowers on this page look differently. And so I think that I have to color them all in different colors and yeah I don't recognize any other of those flowers which kind of flower it might be you have to know that I'm not a gardener my mother had a green thumb but I'm certainly not so I can recognize the roses but and it stops. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I don't have a clue how those flowers should look like, but I think in this book it doesn't need to be very. Um, you don't have to use the colors from the real life, 
and we can just go with um, with any color and just make it colorful and just as we feel for it I think um, that's my mind at least or my feeling about it and um, yeah maybe I do have the um oh, what's the book called the flower year. I do have a copy of Flower Year and I'm thinking about getting started maybe in this book soon and practice some um you know all the color uh, the flower names are given there so I can look up a picture, I can Google for some reference and then I can try to um, make those um, flowers like they should look. And I'm basically looking forward to that because I like to do that. But yeah. I think for this book it is not really needed. Um, that's why I like to call in this book um, after work for some relaxing and yeah. I mean we still want to achieve some nice color combinations and what I really like is when people go with a certain color scheme. So not make it um, too colorful but yeah limit themselves with a few colors and that also looks awesome I think when people do that and I maybe have to learn a little bit more about that and doing that um, yeah, but for now this page is going to be very colorful and I don't care if those colors go together well or not, just wanting to have some fun, to relax a little bit, yeah, because it is needed, it is very much needed. So now I think I will just go in with a little bit of espresso to make some darker shades under those um, flower petals. Yeah. So just yeah, giving it a little bit more darker shadows. And in this um, crease of this leaf, also on this leaf, you know. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks okay and nice. Maybe I even go in back here and do some darker shadows. So um, browns are perfect for doing dark shading on leaves maybe even better than just dark greens because I think it might look a little bit more appropriate maybe but it's just personal preference I think I myself like to go in just with darker shades for coloring And yeah. Okay, those leaves look quite okay so far. So uh, I just make a really a tiny break, drink something, and we'll be right back. So okay, I'm back. So now I um, going in and we'll color this little flower here, and I think I will make it violet. And so I'm going in with a lilac, so a really light um, 
purplish color and I just give this leaf a complete base with this color and after that I will just go in with a little bit of a darker violet and do a little bit of shading and then a little bit of blending with a lighter color so and um, oh I've got a headache today my back is hurting really strong or uh, intense and um, unfortunately also my my right shoulder so my coloring arm is like in infected by it it's hurting and because of that I don't know I'm not so into coloring at the moment I have to say um, yeah that's just why I do this really quick and easy coloring today <laughs> because my mind wants to color yeah, you probably know about this phenomenon. Your mind really wants to call, but your body doesn't feel like it. I'm just going in with the Imperial Violet. And um, don't worry, I will write down all the colors that I used in the info box if somebody is interested and would like to follow it. If you see something that you like, then you should be able to do it. And uh, yeah, because of this pain, yeah, I think I won't do a whole lot of coloring today. So we do, well, I have a free day today. We've got national holiday today. And um, so it's perfect to find some time for yourself and color a little bit. So that's that. And now, yeah, I might blend in a little bit with the lilac. And after that, I will go in with the powder blue to blend it all together. And after that, I even might darken up the, the corners a little bit. So I'm basically just going really, I'm, I'm letting this part untouched, just blending the darker color into the lighter color with this color. That's all I'm doing right now. And um, dear Bess, if you are watching this, call and chat. And um, you know, I'm working on the uh, um, call along for the Christine Karen picture that you wished for. But it will take some time because I filmed the first part and I can show you uh, how far I am in a moment. But um, yeah, the editing will take me some time, you know. So, um, and now I blend everything in as I told you. So I'm going over. A complete petal with this powder blue and yeah it it will take me it will take me still some time to do all the editing on this part and yeah as I just told I'm just not feeling so well at the moment so I'm not coloring so much and I can't sit so much and yeah it, it just takes some time until it will come. Furthermore I do have um, quite a lot of uh, videos that I have already recorded and edited. A few are edited, a few are not and yeah. I would like to bring out the videos that are ready to go online first because they are ready. 
Ja. And I think I maybe I just took a little bit too much of the dark violet because I would uh, prefer it if this little flower would be a little bit lighter. But yeah, it's okay. It's it's okay. I just want to finish this a little flower and then I will show you um, how far I am on the Christine Karen picture. Uh, Bass had uh, made a wish for. And um, I was really surprised how much fun it is basically to color this page that she had um, chosen because um, I think I would not have chosen it on my own so quickly. I don't know why but I mean it is a, a beautiful and wonderful page that's for sure but yeah it was just not on my um, priority list so to say. Um, but now that I've started it I just find that it is really so much fun to color this page. Okay. All the inner parts of the flowers I will just do um, like with yellow, most probably. But I will do that later because I don't have yellows here at the moment. So let me quickly show you. So, um, the lovely Bess had, had asked for a color long on a Christine Karen picture and um, so I asked her uh, which picture, picture she would like and she said a Bluebell Fairy would be nice and yeah, then I started it and um, as you can see I've done um, all this border around here, so all the bluebells and the little leaves and I've started with her skin. And that will be part one of the color along, and it's all done with Prisma colors, and the complete picture will be will be with Prisma colors. So also the background, I think. So um, and I have to say, it's really fun to color this picture. It so far, it's really fun, and I have um, plans for all the colors and for the background already. So in my mind, it is already finished. And then I think it was just today that the lovely Bess asked if I could do um, a color along from, from this book with Prisma Colors because she has Prisma Colors and I think a lot of you have Prisma Colors. So, and I looked through this um, book, but um, what I have to say, Bess, um, I surely can do a color along from this book with Prisma Colors, but it will take. It won't be in the near future because I said to myself that I won't start another picture in this book until I have finished all my started ones. And you know, I have quite some because <laughs> I wanted to try the um, uh, yeah the different pencil brands that I had, and I still need to uh, finish them. Uh, but if I do a color along, I thought maybe this picture would be nice. So I would like to color this one. Or this picture also, I think, would be lovely. Oh, I was also interested in this little um, bird picture, but it's really um, like a lot of uh, leaves on there, a lot of flowers. It's a little bit hard to read, I think, but I really would love to do this little bird and yeah, we will see for which picture I'll decide in the end. Or I also thought maybe we could do just one of those little snakes um, at a time and then someone later do another one of those. So <laughs> we have plenty of options or maybe even this one would be nice or this one as well. But I saw this one um, colored a few times already. 
by, um, for example, by Peter Hewitt or Kate's Calling Haven. Very beautiful um, finished pictures. So, not sure if you're interested in doing that. But if you like, you can let me know uh, which page you would like to go for. Um, I'm just thinking on which uh, flower we will continue working on. I think it will be this one. And um, let me just quickly grab some uh, pencils. And I think I need to sharpen them just quickly as well. So give me just a, a second to do that. As I said, I have a feeling that this um, paper is eating up Prismas. I think that um, the other pencil brands that I tried in here are working better on it. Especially I like my uh, polychromos on this paper, I have to say. Uh, yeah, wait, let me just really quickly show you. Um, this page, um, only the berries are done with Prisma colors and all the rest is done with polychromos and I really enjoyed working with the polychromos on this picture. So, I like my polys in this book that I know already. Okay, so let's continue. Um, I will go in with the blue violet like on this flower here and give it a base color and I'm so sorry for any sniffling and uh, sound that you can hear. It seems that I'm not recovering completely from my cold this year which is kind of strange but yeah I'm still not recovered completely. So sorry for any uh, noises that you might hear while I'm coloring here. As I said, I won't edit this video a whole lot, so I, I'm not going to find all these sounds. I'm sorry for that. Uh, but I think Basically, those people who watch this color and chats videos, yeah, I think they just like to have the company uh, while coloring, so hopefully um, that will be okay, because if you were together, <laughs> I mean, you would also uh, get notice of those things, right? And uh, yeah, I love to watch those color and chats just to have some company while coloring myself. That's really enjoyable. I also love to um, be in the live streams while I'm coloring. So I like to um, chat a little bit with you guys and but also I'm very um, yeah I don't know it's just so much so much fun to color when there are those color in chats or those live streams. It really gets me motivated. And I just thought that it would be uh, that it is Saturday today because I have a free day, but it's not the weekend, it's the middle of the week, so yeah, Sammy's not going to come today. <laughs> she was online yesterday. But um, yeah, when I came from the work, I was too tired to color. I just colored a few flowers in this book on the upper part that you might have seen when I zoomed out. But that's all. So I haven't really continued on any of my other pictures. And I do have a ton a ton of work in progress at the moment. Really a ton of started pictures. And I have to admit that this a uh, little bit stresses me out. And that is another reason why I um, yeah, might 
do a little not so many videos in the next um, weeks maybe but you might not notice is because I still have recorded quite some videos no I'm going in with a periwinkle with a darker shade and on the bottom part here and yeah shade this in a little bit make this darker Um, yeah, I'm a little bit stressed out because I have so many started pictures and no finished or almost no finished pictures and yeah, of course the video making is taking time, especially the editing process and th then I don't have so much time to color as I had basically yeah, before I started doing the videos, of course, just want to blend in the uh, violet blue a little bit. So I thought uh, that I really want to concentrate a little bit more in the next time to yeah, to color and to work on my started pictures and to finish a few pictures, you know. And um, also to finish a few uh, videos because I've uh, I recorded quite some videos already, but they still need the editing to go through the editing process. And um, yeah, I'm making this one a little bit darker because it's underneath those other ones, and I want it a little bit to be in in shadow, more in shadow, you know. Uh, and also this part here will be in shadow, and you know, also this part. Yeah. However. So I really want to get finished with the uh, videos that I have already recorded. You know, I have recorded my um, coloring book collection, the complete one, all my coloring books, and <laughs> this take quite some time. And yeah, but now I need to go through the editing process. And I'm, I'm always postponing it because when you record some coloring, or if you record something new, then you are always um, more interested in um, bringing out your new video. This is always the most interesting one, for me at least. So, everything recorded some time ago is still uh, yeah, lying around, untouched. Yeah, but yeah, I really want to get this finished and to get it off my list. And also, um, yeah, I've started some like coloring topics that I first want to um, finish before I start any new pictures, any new um, video ideas. So, for example, the color long with the Kristen Karen picture that I just showed you a moment ago. So this one I want to finish first before starting anything new. Then I do have my Color Your Heart picture that I've started. Um, you saw the first uh, part and I do have recorded a second part already. Just need to put it out there. But I wanted to do a final part, and um, yeah, and I, I really want to finish this page, the color your heart page, so that I could, um, yeah, select a new one and yeah, just get it finished. So that is one of my priorities in the next. Um, 
next weeks, on the next weekends. And what else? Um, uh, now I will go in with the powder bleed to blend everything in. Before it gets too dark, we can still add some more color if this is too light. But before it gets too dark, as on this uh, violet flower, I first go in with this um, light color now. And yeah, so I um, just need to get uh, some projects uh, finished first before I start any new projects. For example, also like finishing all the started pictures and this uh, from this book. I really want to finish those, or at least one or two before I start any other picture. You know, and of course I want to finish as many um, started pictures as I can. I also. Um, Today I just um, put out my uh, crystal tutorial that I uh, made according to the Helen Allison color with special effects. And I put it out there, and yeah, I'm sorry that it is so like um, the abrupt ending, uh, but. Yeah, the video got so long again, it was again an hour long, and I thought, mm, wow, <laughs> this wasn't planned. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I thought maybe I could um, cut it into pieces and make a few parts out of it, but yeah, it was already late, I was tired, and then I started to separating. Um, the parts and then I cut. <laughs> sorry, I, I cut off um, in the middle of a sentence and so on. But I didn't notice it, and then I rendered it and I uploaded it. And uh, this process takes basically a yeah, few hours. I don't have the long, uh, the the, um, the fastest or the quickest um, internet connection, and so I, I just thought, okay, I just let it as as it is. Um, yeah, of course it's not the best um, yeah, quality video with no ending words and yeah, when it gets cut off in the middle of a sentence, but yeah, so just go with it because after all this is just a hobby channel, so I'm just sharing my hobby with you and everyone interested in that is more than welcome to accompany me but yeah you can't expect to get some really good productions because this is just a free hobby channel and I basically basically uh, don't know what I'm doing I'm just finding out and trying out myself as I go on this journey and sometimes we do something that is beautiful and sometimes oh I totally forgot I wanted to add in a little bit of the, ceril the light cerulean blue so let's yeah go in with this color now and add a little bit uh, yeah. nice basically yeah you see I'm I'm working forever on this small flower here but yeah coloring is just a slow hobby taking out the speed of our 
of our days because I think this um, constant availability and the hectic I don't know it's not good for our health and so just slowing down sometimes can be really good I think okay just add this color also to the other petals a little bit and maybe to this petal and I'm still thinking about buying our nice tripod or something so that I might be able to color on my desk uh, of course at the moment I do have a quite um, interesting um, um, setup uh, how do you say that uh, how I built up my um, filming station so to say just going in with the periwinkle again in the shadows and deepening them up a little bit and I don't have a lot of space on here to lay down all the pencils that I need and yeah. So it might be helpful to have a tripod that I could put on my desk and then color while sitting and not while standing. Just blending in with the cerulean, light cerulean blue. A little bit more. Yeah. And we see what is this powder blue? Yeah, and I think this flower is finished now. Huh? Um, yeah, all the, the inner parts, as I said, I will color um, yellow later. It's a yellow, uh, yellow color, and I most probably will use a glitter, a yellow glitter gel pen as well. So, okay, let me just think about which flower we should color next and which color we should use. Mm, we could use um, like a orangey color now to do this flower here. And this color, uh, those flowers I might do yellow. Those. And this one will be red I think. And those smaller ones I will do just pink. I think I will just do those pink or yeah I mean okay yellow would be nice should we do the yellow one now okay let me just um, grab a few pencils okay I just grabbed a few um, yellow um, pencils and wanted to start coloring this uh, flower here and um, yeah I'm just trying and I'm, I just start with a deco yellow base on the whole petal, I think. And then later I go in with some shading. And I think that um, April was a good month for uh, you know, some of my uh, favorite um, color tubers came back. So, for example, uh, Melissa colors all the things she got back. I mean, uh, yeah, she was very busy, so she uh, hadn't had the time to do any videos. But in April, she got back and wear three. 
I think it was two or three videos. Uh, she did some some um, live streams and and also I think it was Happy Mao or Colors Watching or the Castle Art pencils, which she really likes. And by the way, I do as well. I also love the Castle Art pencils. Also would like to do something with those pencils on the channel. But yeah, as I told you, <laughs> no new projects at the moment. Concentrating on the ones that I need to finish first. And um, yeah, and then also um, Erin from uh, Simple Art for Doodles is her channel name, I think. Uh, she came back as well. And I also love her channel. And yeah, she said that she at least plans. Um, I will try to do a few more videos. So, of course, nobody can promise. Um, but you know, we are all trying and doing our best. So, April was very nice in that kind of thing. That's some of my uh, really favorite um, color tubers came back with a few videos. That was really fun. So I'm just going in with the canary yellow now. Intensifying the uh, yellows here. And um, yeah, basically those um, flowers are kind of um, difficult, I think. I really don't know how to color them. And I think here we should have some uh, shadows or some darker colors. But it's kind of hard to, um, yeah, to see where to put those um, darker shadows here. And then I found my love for Heza Valentine pictures. Um, I think most oh, most of you should uh, know Heather Valentine. Uh, she has a whole lot of books out there. So um, whenever I saw a colored picture in any of those groups, I thought, wow, that looks really pretty. And um, then I got myself some books and I thought, ah, very sketchy style. And I don't know, I... I I never started to color a picture of her in the end. Um, yeah, but now I have finally started my first picture of Heather Valentine and I found out that uh, you can buy uh, her books in as a digital copy and also you can buy um, singles in her shop. Because I always um, yeah, looked on Etsy to find something, uh, but I, I didn't find her on Etsy. I don't think that she is on Etsy. Uh, yeah, but then I found out that she has basically her own website on which she is um, like selling her books digitally as a digital copy and also you can buy single um, pages and I'm not quite sure if um, those pages are in those books or if she also has like pages which are just um, sold as individual pages that I don't know but I've started to color a picture from her 
and I will show it to you in a moment when I'm yeah, a little bit more progressed on this flower here uh, and I think to color Heather's um, pictures is also very stress-free uh, because of this um, sketchy um, look because um, yeah, you know, sometimes if we have those really pretty books, like for example these Chinese books, yeah, we are kind of intimidated to start to color them, or I am at least, and because they are hard to get and they are expensive and the pictures are really lovely, we don't want to mess up, and then, yeah, we don't start to color in them, because, yeah, we are intimidated. But uh, has those pictures because of the uh, sketchy look. I think it takes off the uh, the stress level a little bit. So we just uh, start to go in with color and color them, and just have fun. And at least this is my experience at the moment. I um, really enjoyed. Uh, coloring her picture and I have so many pictures chosen of hers that I would like to do now. It's crazy. Crazy amazing. <laughs> um, okay, uh, by the way, this was the uh, sunburst yellow and now I will go back in with the deco yellow to blend everything in a little bit better. And after that I might go in with um, a darker color to give a little bit more of shadows to the darkest part. And now just blending in everything a little bit. Yeah, what do you think about Heather's pictures? Do you like to color those? And um, have you colored colored any recently? Let me know. I'm also in her group now, so they always can see the most stunning pictures of her, the new new pictures and. I was really impressed with some of her pictures because I didn't knew that she basically also has some quite detailed pictures. I thought they were more on the easy um, uh, way, but some of her pictures are very quite detailed and um, very, very beautiful. And yeah, so yeah, maybe just let me quickly show you the picture from Heather. Yeah, it is this one. I've basically just started, um, yeah, the hair at the moment. Really want to continue on her face, and because I have colored this picture in my imagination already completely. So I have a plan for it, but this this haircut, it was so much fun to color it, you can't imagine. I really loved it and yeah, I think we also her, maybe let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah, I think her pictures uh, invite us to go with very colorful um, colors, even on the hair. So I think just a lot of fun. Okay, let's continue on our flower. I'm working with the mineral orange at the moment and I'm yeah, uh, yeah, deepening the shadows a little bit. And that's basically all I'm doing at the moment. And yeah, I 
I think this paper is really soaking up the wax of those Prisma colors. It's already hard to layer pencils down because it seems that yeah, there's just so much, so much wax already on this uh, paper. So yeah, we need to be careful not maybe use too many different um, shades on here. A little bit of shading I need to do because I think that's fun about coloring. That is the fun part. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, I think. I might go in and blend everything in a little bit with a sunburst yellow. Um, so I mean the darker shadow I want to blend in a little bit. I said this paper doesn't want to take any more Prismacolor pencil. Uh, it's completely full with wax. And I don't have a feeling that I have layered a lot, you know. And actually this paper has a really good juiciness, <laughs> so to say. So it's a quite thick paper and it has quite some twos, so I don't understand why it is so full with wax already. Don't understand that. Maybe I press too hard. But you know my printer paper can take a whole lot of more layers. And this isn't the best quality either. Well, I mean this, it has a good quality. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it's okay. So, uh, hmm, maybe one last step, maybe I'll go in a little bit with light umber. I just test it. I don't know if I will go with it. But just here where you can see those um, like streaks. Just wanting to try how that will look. Okay, I think that's uh, okay already. Yeah, I think it's okay. Okay, so this is the yellow flowers and now... Um, yeah, basically I think I... I think this is already long enough. Or should I do more? I'm not sure. I know that I want this flower to be red. And this one I just will do as I did the other one in the corner up there. Um, 
like this one. So with yellows and oranges, uh, oranges and reds and yellows. Um, yeah, let me zoom you out a little bit, I think. I think that's basically it for today, for today's color and shed. Um, yeah, we just did, yeah, there's really few flowers here, few leaves, so not the whole lot. So, I don't know, should I come back and do those two? Yeah, basically I will do those, will be pink, this will be the orangey color, this will be red. And then the flowers repeat themselves, so actually just three more flowers to do. And here's another one that is um, completely different from all the other ones. Maybe I would come back and um, do some more coloring on it. Uh, also, let me know if you would like to see a little bit apart on coloring those butterflies. Uh, and if you want to see uh, coloring all of those uh, other flowers that I told you about. I think I will continue on all the repeated flowers my, uh, for myself now, maybe just yeah, leave those ones that are different. Depends on what you tell me. <laughs> if you want to see more, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, otherwise I think I really need to get finished with some pages from this book, so uh, yeah, I hope um, this was a little bit fun for you. Thank you for watching. I'm wishing you all a very beautiful day and happy coloring. So hope to see you soon. Bye.